Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you're enjoying the fantastic ride on the Fluid Art Express today and you watch just watch Shambi. How amazing is she? If not, go back and watch later. She is just an absolute treat. So today, I'm having a bit of an experiment day with, um, I'm going back to the double blooms, but I think we're going to give it a bit of a twist. Because I had a thought and I think, you know what, we're just going to roll with it today. Have a bit of a play and see what we can come up with. Hopefully, all goes well. So what I've done first though, even though, yes, I said I'm doing a bloom, I've got a loaded palette knife swipe. Amsterdam White as my CA. Now I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit. Because I just want some cool blue bubbly effects. So that's all I'm doing there. Alright. Now, what I think we'll do. I'm going to start at one end. And I just want to run that through. Just like that. I'll get rid of the big one. We don't need the swipe tool anymore. Now, I think I want a little bit more just down that other end where it really pastelled out. We'll give it a little bit more depth. So we're just going to load up just a fine layer just across the top. And then what I'm going to do Add just a fine layer of the... Now what this colour is, it's actually a Pearlex colour. One of my very favourite blues. I absolutely adore it. It is um, Duo Blue. Blue Violet. Gorgeous colour. There we go. We just, just wanted to even it up just a little bit there. So, now what I'm going to do... I'm going to get my blue pillow paint out. And I'm going to just do a line there. And I'm going to come around the other way. And I'm just going to do a line there. So, that's our base for our bloom. What I'll do, I'll just grab some fresh paper here. So, Pebio Blue. We'll go right for the center. Well, Bubbles version of the center anyway. It's always definitely different to um, Wombats, which is usually spot on. I still say if you close one eye, mine's the center. So, that is our Duo Blue by Perlex. Now what I think we might do is grab some Skyline Blue from Eye Candy. Stunning blue this. Add a bit of that. Yeah, a little bit more. See we get this one. Okay, love that colour. Depth of it's just insanely cool. Now what I think we'll do, I've also got another Pearl X colour. This is Nox, or as my favourite word to call it, is Dirty Copper. It's an amazing colour. I mean, it's one of the best coppers I've seen. I think it's just wise though when you're using gold, coppers, bronzes, you don't want it to take over too, which they can really have a habit of doing. So a little bit goes a long way. I learnt that the hard way. Now, this one here, I've got my Southern Ocean Blue by Matisse. 
And this is what man does call our stage three. So it's the darker shade of the three stages we do. So any any time I'm doing a bloom or a swipe, I just I love to have a tube paint in there. I'm just a big believer that it's sort of like the glue that holds my cells together, especially with the way I spin so aggressively. Can't help myself. So it's our Southern Ocean. I think what we might grab now is this is a gorgeous colour. It's actually like a teal that um, Daz has added a ghost. Oh, we just splattered that everywhere. Oh, but days. Moving right along. So he's added a ghost gold to that one. And it's probably a good thing he's not watching that one then. Oops. <laughs> Fumble fingers. Look how much I wore. <laughs> what did you just do? I did nothing, did you? just keep playing with your phone. I'll be <laughs> editing this, so I'll get to see it anyway. Yeah, you'll have a look later. Oh dear. Now, I've got... This is another Perlex. It's, um... Is it just sky, huh? Sky blue. Sky blue, yeah. Really, really beautiful colour. It actually reminds me a little bit of the this little piggy's blue eyes. I think it comes pretty close, actually. I think it really does come close. Now, we've used all of those. Now we'll use our Southern Ocean Blue Stage 2 shade. Get a good layer around there. This is experimenting. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I guess today we're going to find out together. All right. Now, last colour, only because I'm sort of hoping... Because this is a pastel Darren made up, which um, if you want to learn how to make those pastels, I'll make sure that the links put up, uh, the actual number for that video is up on the screen about now. There it is. There it goes. I'm hoping, because I found with the pastels too, that sometimes they take on a little bit of your CA and change the colour. So hopefully it might do that for me today. If not, still a beautiful colour. Really pretty colour in a bloom. Alright, I think we've got more than enough colour going on there now. We can add our CA. What I might do first is just... Get rid of some of them... Little dobs I had going on there. We'll just hide them in. There we go. And that one's going to run off, hopefully. It is CA time. We'll pop some bubbles first, I think, this time. Cool. Now... Hope you're awake, George. You're about to get your buttons pressed. Get some good amount of CA going there. One thing to remember, if you're blowing out a bloom by mouth, you don't need as much CA, but if you're using the mini blower, you need more. Just the air pressure, the way you're moving it. You want more cells? Put on more CA. Not bad. 
think I blew that bit there. I got actually no, I quite like the effects there. Let's have a play though. I'm gonna tie my shoelaces there. Of course I'm gonna. There we go. Such an easy thing to do, the infinity symbol, the little swoop down. I love when you spin it because it opens up really cool. Mm, yeah, we're going to do it. There we go. Now we'll just put some patterns through our bold pillow paint I put down. There we go. to that it's gonna run off let's just see how she opens up a bit first I think now yeah, come down just a little bit because I think that top bit's gonna run let's just see what she does love the way that swipes opening up that's real pretty through there. This one's a bit bolder. What we might do now is recenter it. And just see what that does. I just don't like that bit. I think it's, I'm going to go over the top of that. To me, that's just a bit eh. Yeah. So, what I think we're going to do is just pestle it out a little bit. Because I'm just not a fan. Alright. Make themselves pop up a bit more. Now let's see what it does. A bit disappointed. I lost a lot of my cool pillow. I was hoping them patterns would sit there. But... You know what, that's alright. No. I'm not sure yet. Just them edges aren't quite where I would have wanted them to be. I might just open it up a bit more now. Sometimes you sort of look at something and you think, no, you know what you had in mind, what you wanted it to look like, and it's just sort of, sort of not doing it. But I do, um, I do really like how that bloom turned out. Like, that's actually really pretty. So, I actually don't mind the bloom. But I'm going to go back to this because I really want to try and get these effects here to go all the way across, sort of, um, yeah, just so it blends right across. So I think that might be another project for another week, but I really do like the way they sort of bleed out of the outside of the bloom. All right. You know what? I'm still happy with it because I think the bloom itself is pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed that one this week, guys. Something different, but... Um, Definitely going to relive this one because I really want to change those effects on the edges. It's just going to be a little bit of trial and error. So that is it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed. Next up after me, we have the amazing dynamic duo of Tony and Kat Pender. Absolutely amazing and you really couldn't meet better people. So follow them on to the next one. Next, um, adventure today guys on the hippy dippy painter man channel and that is it for me so until next time stay safe take care and i will see you on the next one have a fantastic day thanks for watching <laughs>